Hi, my name is Hannah, and I grew up in a small town in the middle of the United States in the state of Nebraska. A big point in my life was when I was just 11 years old, I received the Sacrament of Confirmation. It was a beautiful spring um, Wednesday night, and um, we were sitting in the church, and the bishop was um, saying the homily. And he just told us how God has a plan for each one of our lives, and he wants us to choose him. He wants us to choose to follow him, and we can make that choice now. Confirmation is such an important sacrament when the faith becomes our own, if we really choose it and believe it. And I remember uh, when it was my turn to go up to receive the sacrament, and I knelt down before the bishop, and I said, Maria Goretti, and he then made the sign of the cross on my forehead and said, Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And I remember kneeling there just praying, God, I choose you, I want you, I want a faith worth living for, I want a faith worth dying for. I know that sounds really strange for a little 11 year old, but I was so inspired by the life of Maria Goretti, who at the age of 11 stood up for her faith to the point of dying. And I wanted that. I wanted a faith worth dying for, but also worth living for. So at that time, just as at, a, at the age of 11, I started going to Mass all by myself, fell in love with the Mass, I fell in love with God, and I knew that he had a plan for me, just like he did with Maria Goretti. So as I continued on through high school, um, I was a pretty typical teenager, still playing sports, still super involved with all of that. Um, but Jesus was always there. He was always a part of it. And then, I, you know, as you get through the high school stages where it's not so cool to be, to be Christian, to be in your faith, um, I started to get scared and I started to be nervous. Um, so I, I, Jesus was still there, but it was like I put him in a box. And that was my Jesus box, and I kept him there. And I'd keep him under my bed, and he was always there. Um, then on Sundays, I would take that box out, and I'm like, okay, Jesus, today's your day. But Monday through Saturday, he pretty much stayed in that box. And I didn't know how to incorporate Jesus into my everyday life. It seemed like I was two different people. I was the person who, I was Hannah who loved sports, and was a cool kid at school, and had, had great friends who I loved hanging out with. But then I was also Hannah, who loved Jesus and, and loved my Catholic faith. It was when I was 15 years old that I would say that I experienced the love of Jesus for the first time in a real personal and tangible way. Um, I grew up knowing these sisters called the School Sisters of Christ the King, and they would come to my parish each summer for a week, and they would teach us a bit about Jesus, a bit about the church and catechesis. And I grew up knowing them and loving them and looking up to them as such beautiful role models in my faith. I wanted a faith like them. I wanted a relationship with Jesus like they did. I wanted to love him with all of my life and all of my heart and, and unite that. I didn't want it to be separate. I wanted Jesus to be a part of everything that I did. And I remember being in adoration, um, just adoring the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament and just crying out to him, asking Jesus to help me, um, to help me stop living this double life, to take him out of that box that I kept under my bed and just to let him be a part of everything um, that I was and that I did. And, and, it, and it happened over, over time. It wasn't just an overnight thing, but I still remember towards the end of my high school, um, in years 11 and 12, um, just knowing that Jesus was with me and that he was a part of everything that I did. I think the time in my life when my faith was really tested um, was when I was 16 and that my parents um, decided that they were going to get a divorce. And I remember feeling so alone during that time and feeling like I didn't know, I didn't know this could happen. I didn't know. I thought, you no, know, I was living for Jesus. I was living my life for Him. I was going to church every Sunday. And I couldn't understand why this would happen to me, why this would happen to my family. And I remember getting so angry at God and just questioning everything. Like, what did I do to deserve this? What did I do? What did I do? What about me, God? And through this time, it's incredible. I, I never stopped believing in Him. Um, it was almost like my faith just grew abundantly during this time. And I, I just felt like the Lord was drawing me closer to Him. And I felt Him saying, saying things like, You're not alone, Hannah. I am here with you. And, and I know that this is hard. I know that this hurts. And I know that you feel alone. But but I am here with you, and I love you, and I'm not going to leave you. This was a kind of a turning point in my life as well. Um, 
or through this experience and through the experience that I had with the sisters, I, I knew that I needed Jesus in my life. I couldn't do it alone. Um, I had tried and unsuccessfully <laughs> um, made it, but um, Jesus was there and he was real and I believed in that. I'm currently living in Australia working for Net Ministries as a supervisor. I came to Australia back in 2015 to volunteer for the program and I took up a full-time job working for the ministry after that as a supervisor and as the scheduling coordinator. I love doing what I do. I love supervising. I love getting to share my faith. So I just like to encourage um, anyone who's watching this, anyone who's listening, um, if, you're, if you are like me, who, who's known Jesus, Jesus has been a part of your life, but you never thought that he could be a part of everything that you did, that he could be a part of your everyday life. I just want to encourage you to take Jesus out of that box. Take Jesus from under your bed and ask him, because he's just, he's waiting for you. He wants you, he wants to love you, and he wants to be a bigger part of your life. Thank you. Shalom world brings to you the Catholic faith in all its different dimensions. It can be a faith to inspire you in, in your own living of your Catholic life in society. Salon World offers you an opportunity of being rich and strengthened in your family life. We live in a culture that needs to have a Catholic presence. We live in a culture that needs to be evangelized by the presence of Catholic teaching and the inspiration to live according to our Catholic way of life. I recommend to you, you are involved to be involved in the work of Shalom World. May the Lord bless you and bless the work of Shalom World. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Shalom World, God's own channel.